I'm in love. I'm in love. Can you be in love with pants? Because I am. Sorry, Rick. I love pants now. So can we talk about the new Downton Abbey movie and specifically about Edith's beach pajamas? Because They're amazing. So I looked online and could only find like two or three images of this outfit. They didn't have a lot, but I was able to find a picture of a page of a companion book, I think it is. They had a design sketch. You could see where like the seam lines were, which was perfect and really, really helpful. So paired with this image and just kind of looking at other photos from the time, like from the 20s and 30s, I was able to find a pattern that I could make these pants from. So I'm very excited. I kind of want to make an entire summer wardrobe of just <laughs> beach pajamas because I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole. We need to bring this back. We need to bring the beach pajamas back. Am I wrong? Am I, I'm not wrong. No, I'm not. We're bringing it back. Hashtag bring back the beach pajamas. So yeah, just gotta put the pattern pieces together and then we can get started. Let's go. This pattern the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start putting things together today uh, after a little bit of a um, let's just say we're not going to go with the pattern instructions that come with this pattern. We're just going to go with what I already know about pants construction and referencing other pants patterns because essentially you've got two legs and a waistband and it all pretty much goes together the same way. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna start with that. We're gonna stitch up both of the legs individually and then go from there. So um, <laughs> let's see what happens because I'm kind of winging it. both of the pant legs. I did stitch the inseam of both of them. And I'm seeing that I have this funny, it's like this weird extra thing. I'm thinking that this is supposed to be continued to there. So I think that I have to take them out from inside each other and do that. that this got cut because I A was doing it on the floor and B was cutting around the pattern pieces rather than tracing it and then cutting on the chalk line. But I, yeah, I didn't do that because this is like a white fabric. So I just cut around the paper and it kind of looks like I cut it with a weed whacker or something. <laughs> All right, let's stitch this. Stitch you out to me. is a hot mess. It's ah, stabbing me, but also huge. Huge. And see-through. You see this stitch I decided to do? Because I'm gonna have a zipper and 
I find that making a seam like this is way easier because if you look, oh, there's still a pin in this side. I'm lucky I didn't stab myself. Oh, why, why do I have a two pins in this side? How did I take this off me? All right. It has created a rather unsightly line down the middle of the crotch. So I don't want that. So I think what I'll do is figure out the pinning for the si making a new side seam because I don't know if you could tell there wasn't one on this. It was just all one piece per leg. But since it's so voluminous, I, uh, I can afford to make a side seam on these legs. So I'll do that and then, you know, at a certain point it'll just become the 5 8 so that I can do flat felled. And then I'll unpick, I'll unpick the waistband, but I'll also unpick this seam so that it's just, you know, the two parts of the seam together rather than split and it's just serged or in my case zigzag stitched. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and hopefully I can try and figure this out so that I can take pictures at the beach tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> down the side seams um, like I said that serge seam down the center of the crotch seam reattaching the waistband adding the zipper hemming there's a lot to do and it's fraying like crazy so uh, I, I I have a lot to do and I'm hoping that I can have this done so that we can go to the beach tomorrow and take video and and pictures so hopefully this is the last that I'm talking to you and I will just See you when we're seeing this all completed. Now, I know what you're thinking. You wish you could see the pants some more, right? Well, I'm so sorry. You can rewind, but we're gonna keep the framing up here so I can talk to you. But, I understand your feelings. These pants, although they were a pain in the butt before, are amazing. Amazing. They, I am going to take a pattern from these pants to make more because they fit in the right place. I have so much mobility in them and let me tell you when they just were blowing in the breeze i just felt like i was on the french riviera south of france i don't know somewhere wherever they are in downton abbey and i used what i had for my jedi robe my casual jedi robe as like you know uh, a robe that that like edith is wearing right 
You know, I, I was able to use the vintage wrap shirt as well because it was hitting at the right spot and it was the same color and it was giving a whole other silhouette which I was falling in love with. And then, I'm just saying guys, I have to go to Zumba soon and so I'm multitasking and I put this part <laughs> on and it still works. I was going to just keep getting dressed for Zumba, but then it worked, guys. It worked. And we can rock it like it's 2022, where it doesn't matter what time period you're dressing as, if you're mixing and matching, if you decide to wear half your Zumba outfit with your beach pajama pants, you rock it. Because you know what? These pants are amazing. My advice, if anybody's ever out there and thinking, oh my gosh, how can I make this work? I don't know what I'm doing. There are so many resources out there and just also just trust yourself. I didn't think that I would be able to finish these pants and make it work and be able to get to the beach in time to have the sunny weather that we did, but you can do it. So just, just believe in yourself and just trust. I promise you guys, no matter whatever happens, you're learning from it and you're getting better. So keep trying, keep going, and make some amazing pants. They're so amazing, guys. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are enjoying what's going on here, be sure to stick around and I will see you next time. Bye. Just remember, be the amazing you that you are, that when life hands you a pattern that makes zero sense, you can turn it into fabulous pants. Gives you a crappy, what was it? Did it not rhyme? Life gives you, I'm gonna have to look back and see what I even said. Life gives you a crappy pattern. What did I even say? That must not have rhymed, huh? Let's check the footage.